listening to your title, I'll come to the NHL's one here. You only have known by now that unfortunately over the past weekend, we have unfortunately lost our dear friend, one of the greatest children's book authors of all time, Eric Carl. He unfortunately passed away last Sunday, May 23rd, at the age of 92 years old. Carl's known as no movie for books such as The Very Hungry Cat War, Proctor Please Get the Moon for Me, The Very Quiet Cricket, I See a Song, and Brown Bear, Brown Bear, What Do You See, among many other classics. So, to mourn this unfortunate death and to honor this legacy, I'm going to take this video to read one of my favorite books and gymnastic pieces from this idol that I have enjoyed growing up. The Very Hungry Caterpillar, written and illustrated by Eric Carl. Eric, if you're watching this from heaven right now, this one's for you now. Thanks for the memories. In the white of the noon, a water egg lay on a leaf. Then one sunny morning, the warm sun came up, and plop! Out of the hatch egg came the tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So he started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pear, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. Then on Saturday, he ate through one slice of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one pickle, one slice of cherry pie, one cucumber, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. And where that night, he had a terrible stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The little caterpillar ate through one nice juicy green leaf, and after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. Now he was a big fat caterpillar. He built his small house called Cocoon around himself, and he stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he gnawed a hole in the cocoon, crawled his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Well guys, there you have it. That was my reading of a classic from a great author who was unfortunately no longer with us. Eric, on behalf of the entire children's entertainment industry, we will de miss you. Thank you all for watching this video, and goodbye for now.